Hello, everybody. We better be careful because I don't really jump into politics and all that type of stuff, even though I do follow it and I am observing. But I really don't post about it. A lot of stuff that I post about is about the Bible and it's about uh, Jesus and it's about the truth and it's about the word. But let me tell you, they're censoring those things right now. They said that I had a few violations and now they're pretty much putting me um, in Facebook jail. I, can, I can't go live until January 6th. And, uh, it, you know, it's just a little bit funny to me to see that they would be willing to do that. And uh, there's w way much more politics out there, especially against Facebook. I hardly ever talk about them because I use it as a tool, but it's just kind of funny. But on a side note, if there's a will, there's a way, and God will always give you another way to get the word out. And so I'm going to be doing videos on YouTube, and then they're going to be small enough to where I can post them and just give you some nuggets, some knowledge. Then I'm going to take the YouTube video, the link, and post it on the Facebook. Um, so I want to talk to you about something, and it's about God's love, but it's more important about your love for God. And I see a lot of people, they, they, they think that it's okay to say, well, I love God. God loves me. God knows who I am. I love God. And, and, and I do believe that people love God. I really do. I believe that people love God. But, and I'm not trying to talk about somebody's religion, but I got to, I got to give you the truth. And you could say how much you love God, all you like, but God makes it very specific. He says, if you love me, you will keep my commands. So you could tell me you love God and you could say, I love God. I ain't got to be in no church. I love God. I ain't got to do this. I love God. I ain't got to do that. You could do that as much as you like, but it doesn't really stick if you don't keep his commands. See, somebody that truly loves God will obey God's word. That is still not enough for you to, uh, uh, for us to be, uh, 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 it, in some areas it can be considered works, right? Because you're saying, well, I'm obeying God's word, so I should get to heaven. But it's, we still couldn't pay the debt enough, even if we did everything God said. I don't, Jesus died on the cross. There is no amount of debt that you can pay back to God by following him, by putting you love him a million times. There's, you can't do enough. <laughs> we, we, we just can't. But God gives us, oh, uh, he, he, he gives us a, an instruction. And the instruction says, if you love him, you will keep his commands. You will keep God's commands. That means you will follow the Bible. You will read the Bible. You'll, uh, you'll meditate on it. You'll pray. And you'll, you'll do whatever the Bible says. If you don't, how can you say you love God? Because that's God's way. And if you want to love God, and if you have a relationship with God, then you would know that God said that that's the way that you love him. The love is a sign. Keeping God's commands is a sign of your love for God. Just not saying it. And we live in a society that just like to say, I love you, but there's no action behind it, which is why the world thinks it's okay to say, I love God. I'm gonna go to heaven. I'm a good person. If you love God, you'll keep his commands and you don't love as the world does. The world says, I love God, but I'm gonna do what I want to do anyway. I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do that. I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. I won't do this. And I won't do that. That is what the world says. But God says. But God says, if you love him, you will follow and obey his word. So let's stop confusing people. Let's stop uh, 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 mixing what we, let's stop pleasing our own sin by saying, I love God. I may not go to church. I may not read. I may not do this, but that's good enough. That's not good enough. It's not. 
It's not. Um, God has used people to heal the sick. God has used people to, to cast out demons that ain't going to heaven. So if you truly love God and, and that's what you're saying, you'll keep his commands. Amen. God bless you. I love you. And uh, I'm smiling at Facebook right now for trying to stop me from preaching the gospel. They can't do it. They can't do it. I'll find a way. I will find a way to get the message out to you when God is speaking something in my heart to speak to people. Listen, if you love God, then what is the sign? It's keeping his commands. You cannot ever repay that debt of Jesus Christ. But you can walk in love. You can follow his commands. It's up to you. Well, God puts all these commands and all these things. How do I know which one's the following? Da, 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 da. Well, you follow the New Testament. You read the whole Bible. The whole Bible is relevant, but you follow the New Testament. And then when you follow the New Testament, you look at the Gospels. And then you go on into the other books. And you say, Lord, I want to transform my mind and my heart to where I follow you. That way I can show you, show you a sign of my love. By keeping your commands. When you begin to do that, God will begin to not only see the love that you have, but he will begin to outpour the love that he has for you, which is truly a blessing. I pray that this reaches you and it touches you. I'm going to be doing these daily. I call them, uh, you know, like five to seven minute teachings. That way you can get on and get the word of God. If you love God, you'll keep his commands. That is the sign that you love him. Not going to church, not praying for people, the sign that you love him is keeping his scripture.